4.3 billion people live across this vast continent called Asia. And we are telling their stories. On this edition, clawing back, Thailand's tigers are growing in numbers thanks to intensive conservation efforts. One man forest maker, how one person in India took it upon himself to build a forest in his community. And life after logging. Myanmar is cutting down on logging, but what happens to elephants employed in the industry? I'm Mikhail Bardavid, and this is Assignment Asia. Welcome to the show. Forests and some animal species are disappearing in parts of the world. But in Asia, there are glimmers of hope. In Thailand, for instance, the tiger population is growing, even as tigers face the threat of extinction elsewhere. Martin Lowe observed tigers roaming the forests of western Thailand and a sanctuary where they're being taken care for before being released to the wild. Tiger, tiger, burning bright in the forests of the night. The words of the 19th century English poet William Blake have never been truer than in the remote and relatively untouched forests of western Thailand. Hunting for prey, these wild tigers are caught in the lens of motion sensor cameras. In eight years, the number of tigers here has almost doubled, with 90 individual animals being recorded. It's the only place in Southeast Asia where tiger numbers are increasing. Around 200 cameras have been hidden in bushes, trees and shrubs to monitor the tiger's comeback as part of a major international study. The cameras are triggered by animals passing day or night. <laughs> เสือลายของเสือโค้งเนี่ยมันจะเป็นลายที่เป็นลักษณะเฉพาะตัวเหมือนเหมือนลายลิ้วมือของเราเอ่อทั้งซ้ายทั้งข้างด้านลายทั้
Organs are used in folk medicine, though many claim there's no evidence they have any healing properties, and as aphrodisiacs. Skins are sold for decoration. Tiger bones are used to make wine. Away from the forests, at Ratchaburi in another part of Thailand, this wildlife station run by the Thai government has been breeding tigers and taking care of sick and trafficked animals for more than 20 years. These tigers were rescued from poachers after they were discovered hidden in the back of a lorry at Champon in the south of the country. They would almost certainly have faced slaughter and use in medicines. In these cages are animals removed from Thailand's infamous Tiger Temple at Kanchanaburi, where some claim they'd been treated badly or trafficked. The Buddhist monks who run the temple and display tigers to tourists continue to dispute those allegations. Many here would prefer to see tigers in the wild rather than being kept in cages. But say for the breeding programs they carry out, it's necessary. In contrast to an open sanctuary here, the tigers can be studied at much closer quarters. Researchers analyze tiger health, behavior and breeding patterns. Despite the desire to increase tiger numbers, they have to carefully control their breeding program. The center has two full-time vets and a specialist who comes in to give advice. Whenever possible, the aim is to return tigers to the wild because so many have been lost in the past. Kirana also believes rearing some tigers in cages is essential. Back at the sanctuary, keeping watch for poachers and ensuring the animals are undisturbed goes on without pause. Observation towers give a commanding view of the forest. For the tigers to flourish, they need food. A tiger can eat 40 kilos of meat at one time. So protection has been extended to the wild boar, cattle and deer which make up their prey. Monkey is a favorite delicacy. Establishing a sustainable food source is vital to continuing population growth. Worldwide, tigers have been disappearing at an alarming rate. They're now an endangered species. But here in these inaccessible and mostly unspoiled forests, which make up one of the largest protected wildlife areas in Southeast Asia, their numbers are slowly recovering. This is a place where the big cats are clawing back. For Assignment Asia, I'm Martin Lowe in the tiger forests of Western Thailand. 
The world's so-called Tiger Range countries, or places where tigers roam freely, aim to double their tiger population by 2022, the next year of the tiger. Coming up, meet a man in India who built acres of forest for several decades alone. Planting trees is a common activity to save the environment. But one man in India did more than that for most of his life, building acres of forest on a sandbar in a span of three decades on his own. Jyothi Karat met the forest man of India in the country's northeast and spoke with him about his dreams of a green world. In 1979, the water was very cold. It was in China. It was in the water. It was in the June, July. It was in the हमारे जो मकान वो मेरे जो मन में लगाया जे इस दे बचपन में जो खाना और ना फल जो पेड़ देखा है पक्षी देखा है जानवर को भी देखा है वो देखने के लिए मैं ये फॉरेस्ट बनाया मेरा नाम जदप्पा है लिखते में तो मुलाय तो जब तक यहां फ्रेश बना लिया ना तो अन्नी ने वो फ्रेश का नाम दिया था ऑल ऑफ पीपल तब मुलाय फ्रेश यहां से जब तो आज हम लोग घर बनाया ना मकान खन बनाया ना वहां से यहां 10 किलोमीटर ही शुरू हो गया 1965 में अभी जब तक इरुसोनो के सलाह गया 1965 में यहाँ तो सेंटेरिया तो नया ये आइलैंड This is not the park, it is erosion that is the main problem of sun. Till today, more than 4 lakh bigas of land is eroded, washed away by the river Brahmaputra and its tributaries. And there is a permanent loss. It shattered many people's dream. People are uprooted, they have to shift their elsewhere, you know, they live, live their land where they are born. So, uh, socially also they are greatly affected. Wow, 
it was the largest river island in the world but it really gets to the second position now because of erosion more than 60% of the original land of mazulis is washed away more than 60% European, I met him from his childhood, uh, she, and very frequently he came to my nursery and asked many things about uh, the plants, and he collected plants from our village, the bamboo, he collected and he planted there. करते करते अभी थर्टी सिक्स ईयर हो गया ये फर्स्ट ब्रांड यहाँ का जो गाय है वो पेड़ उतने जानता है पोखी ने पेड़ उतने जानता है और डियर ने पेड़ उतने जानता है इलीपेन ने पेड़ उतने जानता है और जो हवा आता है पता वो भी पेड़ उतने जानता है और महाभारत ब्रह्मपुत्र ने पेड़ उतने जानता है लेकिन जीवों से स्थान में कत नहीं जानता है All over India, first state of the Vigyan University of Nepal. How many people are stopped in India? How many people are stopped in India? How many people are stopped in India? This jungle is very good. I like this jungle. I like this jungle. I like this jungle. मुझे ये अच्छा लगता है कि यहाँ पर वो जब चिड़िया है और यहाँ पर प्राकृतिक जो सुंदरज्ञ है बहुत मुझे अच्छा लगता है और यहाँ पर हवा भी अलग है वो आदिम युग का जो संरक्षण कर नहीं पाया वो लड़का बच्चा सब वो लोग संरक्षण का वो लोग का पैर कोई दिन कटने नहीं देगा पेर का ऊपर पक्की पेर का माने नहीं देगा पेर का नीचे जब जानवर रहेगा वो माने नहीं देगा वो लोग संरक्षण करने सीखेगा इसके लिए ये जरूरत है इंडिया में ऑल ओवर इंडिया के कानून चा ऑल ओवर वर्ल्ड चढ़ने पड़ेगा ये पोर्ट परसेंट देखने से भी ऑल ओवर वर्ल्ड करने पड़ेगा वो कराने ही पड़ेगा ये जरूरत है इंडिया Jadev Payang plans to continue building forests in other parts of India as well as advocating measures to save the environment up next, we'll visit a sanctuary for Myanmar's unemployed elephants. Elephants are valuable workers in Myanmar's logging industry because of their size and their strength. But as the country cuts down on logging to stop its deforestation, elephants find themselves out of a job and at risk of being poached or trafficked. One camp in the town of Kala that I view solutions, taking care of unemployed elephants and encouraging visitors to plant trees. Myanmar's elephants, giant mammals that have become iconic symbols. They played an important role in this nation's history, having been used on the battlefield in ancient times. Today, they are crucial to Myanmar's economy as workers in the timber industry. Some fun 
birds are used for logging because of their strength and ability to reach difficult spots in the forest. They are used as substitutes for machines. From age 5 until 15, elephants are used mainly for transport. At 15, they are trained for logging and once they reach 18, their days of hard work begin. Myanmar has more elephants in captivity than any other Asian country. But as its government hopes to reduce logging and address the country's rapid deforestation, more and more elephants will be unemployed with nowhere to go. In some neighboring countries, elephants and their caretakers end up begging on the streets. The risks of illegal animal trafficking as well as poaching make these giants more vulnerable. But one camp in Kalao, in a beautiful forest with different shades of green, hopes to be a retirement home for unemployed animals. At the Green Hill Valley, elephants are not employees. They are guests. We don't do demonstration, we don't do circus things, we don't do any, any joy riding and entertainment things with the tourists. The camp's founder, Tin Win Ma, believes that after years of serving humans, elephants should be rewarded for their efforts. We really wanted to give them full retirement from working. So we purposely pick up all these timber elephants from timber industry and let them have full retirement here. So all these visitors come into our place kind of like participation to cooperate with us for their daily care of our elephant. This isn't your typical tourist attraction. The elephants here are not present to entertain. Instead, visitors arrive to share an experience with the elephants. One of the activities they can do with the elephants is to bathe them, like this. Here, tourists can feed the elephants with their own hands, place balls of wood directly into the elephant's mouth, or offer it to the elephants, who playfully grab the food with their trunks. The camp aims not only to ensure tourists enjoy their time with the elephants, but also to increase their awareness of what elephants had to go through. The fact that once elephants have been working a full life, they get the opportunity to retire and be pampered. That's the way I see it. They get the spa treatment and they get the good food and they get a dignified, uh, you know, retirement. Oh, no. handler known as Mahout takes care of elephants in Myanmar. At the Green Hill Valley, the animals enjoy a lot of freedom in their daily set routines. ไปไปแยกเนี่ยเราเลยบัดดีไปตัวเนี่ยเออสิงจูเลจิตเนี่ยอ่ะอ่ะดีกว่าจ้ะไปเนี่ยอาจารย์มาตะคุอ่ะเ
ไอ้บ่ไบโอตอปตุไบโอเอนไซม์มีสูเดไวตามินซีดิบ่เนาะเอ้อเอ้อเอ้อถัดซ้อมนี้ก็คงแท้ไปเลยฮะชื่อนี